Okay, we're going to learn a Tysphus. This is extra credit for you, and we're going to start in the middle of Tysphus. It's the first Tysphus on Perak Aminiach. Tysphus is, starts with Aminiach. And we're going to start from Vim Taimar. Tysphus has a question here. Vim Taimar is a question I wrote on the side to spell it out, Vim Taimar. And if you will say, which means it's a, that's a form of a question. And just the background of what Tysphus is going on is if a person walks into a store and he says, I would like a chavis, and the owner of the store says, sure, no problem, and he sells him a cod, which is a pitcher, a smaller container. So we said that since there is a minority of people that call a cod a chavis, the sale is a good sale, and you don't follow the majority. So Taisvis asks, Vim taimar let us see. I de kade, I de chavisa. We have to see what he paid for. Did he pay for a cod or did he pay for a chavis? Why are we making up this, um, if we're going to follow the majority or not, we have another way of determining. Let's just look at the, at the price. We can, we can determine it uh, just simple. So let's take a, uh, we're going to skip, we're going to jump in Taisus. Taisus just tells me about what it says in another parak. The Yeshleimar, we can answer this question. We'll, we're going to have three answers. Uh, we'll, we'll see how this works. First answer is very simple. Vyeshleimar, we can say, I, I wrote down Vyeshleimar on the side, just so you can see it, but that's an abbreviation, which means it is possible to say, It's not possible over here, Shaykh uh, means applicable. It's not applicable, Hacha is here, that the money or the value should tell us what he bought. Why? They're very similar in price. One is much larger. I'm not sure why that would be. Seems that a chavis should have more material. Maybe a chavis is wood, and the kad is um, is clay. I, I, I don't I don't know, but whatever the case, the scenario is, they're similar in price, and therefore it's not going to work. That's a very balabatish aterich. It's a uh, it's a very simple type answer. And that's the answer. Uh, we're talking about a case where you can't tell the difference because of uh, just because of the price. Inami. Another answer I wrote, Inami over there, so you can see it spelled out, Inami, or also, another possible answer, that he sold him not one kad, one chavis. He sold him 200 zuz worth of chavis. And he ended up with getting 200 zuz worth of kadim. So you can't say, well, let's look at how much he paid to see, because he actually got the value of what he paid. It just wasn't the, um, the container that he wanted. And he doesn't know what to do with him now. He wanted uh, he wanted Chavius. Okay. Uh, I'm leaving out a minor detail because we didn't learn the beginning of Taisvis. Uh, just the, the Kadem Oy Chavius. Taisvis goes back and forth with two possible cases. Either he bought Kadem or, or, or Chavius. The way we're learning is just that the um, seller is the one that's giving him a cod, even though they actually said clearly chavius. That's the way we were learning in, in Rashi, that, that seemed to be. And let, let's continue with that, because it simplifies things. So again, uh, he bought 200 zuz worth of chavius, and he ends up with 200 zuz worth of kadim. So Taisa's question, we should look at the value, we should look at the price and see what he intended. That we can't do, because the price is 200 zuz. Okay, it's over here you can't say that the, the domim, which means the value or the money, should tell us what he ordered, because he ordered 200 zuz, um, not just one chavis or one kad. Okay, that's the answer number two. Let's take a, another jump in Taisvus. So we're going to skip those brackets. Next answer is really something beautiful. Inami, or else, Taisvus is now saying, it's like a little... Um, a twist in the Gemara. Uh, the, until here, we were saying that um, instead of following the majority, we're going to follow uh, the one that's holding the money. It's called the Muchsik. Taisus now says that there's another addition here as well. Inami or else Hachi Prusha, we can uh, translate it like this. Mahu the Tema, I could have thought. In other words, there actually is a difference in price. And he actually paid for a Chavis. And nevertheless, he ends up with a cut. But I could have thought that zil basaruba, that we should nevertheless follow the majority. And 
and therefore the sale should be off, even though the uh, I'm sorry, Damim Masayim Lamuchzik means that he, the, the, he actually paid for a cod. Actually paid for a cod, so he paid a little bit less. And so therefore the sale should stay on. But I could have thought, I could have thought that you follow the majority and therefore the sale should be off. It's not a good sale. Even though he only paid for a cod, the Damim means the value. Messiah is supporting Lemuchzik, the one who's holding the money, which is the seller. The seller gave him a cod. And I could have thought that the sale should be off because, oh, majority is the strongest thing. And the majority don't, don't call a cod a chavis. Kamash Malan, it comes to teach us that we don't follow the majority. And the sale is on. And why is the sale on? Not only because we don't follow the majority, but not only because he's a muhzik, he's holding on to the money, but also because I have the value supporting that. I have the money supporting that. Thais is going to say very soon um, why what he gains by this. But now he goes on. We'll see, we'll see soon what he's saying. So basically, Kamash Malan, it comes to teach us that I actually look at the value to see what he paid. And because he only paid for a cod, the sale is still on, and I don't follow the majority against the value against the price that he paid. Vuhu hadin, oh, I left that out. I'll add it in on the side. Vuhu hadin, if you can see that. Uh, Vuhu, Vuhu hadin means the same thing would apply. Vuhu hadin, the same thing would apply. The havimatzalamei maripcha. If we would have said the opposite, and how would what would the opposite be? Mahu the tema. What is it that I could have thought or that I could have supposed? Zil basar chazaka, that I should follow the one who's holding on to the onto the money. And um, in this instance, I could have thought that. And we're talking about in this case, where the price is telling me that he bought a chavis, which means the price is supporting the buyer. Not like we just learned before where the price is supporting the seller. The price is supporting the buyer. And he actually paid for a chavis. But I could have thought, mahu detema, I could have thought that zil basar chazaka, I should follow the one who's holding on to the money, which is the seller, even though it's against the price. In other words, the sale should still be good, even though it's clearly not what he paid for. Kamash Malan. So therefore, the Mishnah comes to teach us the Ein Holchen Basar Chazaka that we do not follow the Chazaka, the one who's holding on to it. Ella Achar Haroiv. Well, rather we follow the majority. Im Hadam and Mesayim Leroiv. If the value, if the price that he paid, is supporting the majority. Now, why don't we say this? So. Um, in other words, what, what are we not saying? We're not saying the Mao de Zilbasa Chazaka. We could have said that that you should follow the one who has his hands on the money, who's who's the assumed owner, who's the uh, who's the one who has it. Uh, rather, we say I could have thought that you follow the majority, Kamash Malan, that you don't follow the majority. Why why do we do that? It's it's clear. Uh, it's like compelled. It's compelling. The Bola Hashmienu the Leosin Basaruba. It's coming to teach us that we do not follow the majority. Why? Because the kad v'chavis chadeninu. That uh, a kad and a chavis are considered one. And that is clear from the Mishnah that that's what it's trying to do by the fact that it it um, it's calls it a kad and then it calls it a chavis. It's trying to tell me that it's the same thing. Okay, I want to stop and explain something right over here. So what Taisus is trying to do here is he's saying the reason why the chiddush of our Gemara uh, with uh, our Gemara saying the Chiddush of our Mishnah is that you do not follow the majority. As opposed to maybe the Chiddush should be that you don't hold on to the Chazaka, the, chaz- the one who has the money doesn't keep it. Kamash Malan, that if the money goes, if the value is clearly not what he paid for, he should give it back. Okay. I just want to point out that the way I learned the Gemara in the, uh, on the other videos and in, in the class was that the Gemara ended right here. Amar of Papai no Kanadu Chavis. 
comes along the Gemara and says, Lamai Nafkamina, what's the difference? Why did Rav Papa have to tell me this? And why did the Gemara have to ask this whole question? Well, the difference would be Lameka Chememka. The difference, the reason why they went in, through this, why the Gemara went through this, was to teach me that in buying and selling, a Kad and Chavis is the same thing. Taisvis doesn't learn like that. Taisvis learns that Amar Rav Papa no Kad and Chavis, that Kad and Chavis is the same thing. Lamai Nafkamina. Why did the Mishnah change? In other words, it's all, the Mishnah is teaching me that this din of Mecca Chumemkar, that I don't go Basarayv. There's a little problem with this. The problem is, is that there's a machlekes if you go basarav between Rav and Shmuel. Now, this is a huge problem because um, Rav holds that you do go you do go basar you, you follow the majority even by monetary matters. Now, if the chiddush of our mission is that you don't follow the majority, so what's Rav? How 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 can Rav say? Uh, well, Rav does Rav Tanu Palak, but that would be something that the Gemara Rav can argue on a Mishnah. But that would be something that the Gemara would like to speak out. So therefore, I said that I learned to like the Rajba, that it's not the Mishnah that's telling me that I don't go basarayv. It's the Gemara. It's Rav Papa that's telling me. Rav Papa is following Shmuel that you don't go basarayv by majority. Okay, but Taisvis that learns that it's the Mishnah. That's teaching me that I don't go basaroiv. So Taisus now says, according to this last answer, this third answer that we gave, Visa Asi Shaper, according to this, it comes out very, very well. Tfei, Asi Shaper Tfei, it comes out, Tfei means more, it comes out even better. Aliba de Rav, me Aliba de Shmuel, it comes out better according to Rav than according to Shmuel. Mide um, Shaminon, because it's it's letting us hear, the Loyos Linon Basar Ruba, we do not follow the majority. That's only if the money also is supporting the one who's holding on to is the one who's holding on to the money. In other words, the price is supporting the one who's holding on to the money. But we do not hear this if the price is not supporting that. In other words, in a regular case, um, let's say the price of a kad and the price of a chavas is the same, then I would have to follow the roiv. And that would be Rav Shita. Uh, however, why over here do I not follow the Rav? Because he actually paid for a kad, um, even though they said chavis. That's why I'm not following the Rav. And that would support Rav's opinion that you usually you do follow the Rav. Okay, I know it's a little bit confusing, but it's a um, it's an outline of Taishas.